I'm just going to say before we go any further, Ken Anderson should be in the Hall of Fame. That's a completely different video topic in itself, but in short, you can make a legitimate argument that from the mid-70s until the mid-80s, with the exception of Dan Fouts, there was not a better quarterback in football than Anderson. Anderson's had a lot of great moments in his career, such as his 1981 season where he won the MVP and led the Bengals to their first Super Bowl in franchise history, and his incredible performance against the Steelers in 1974, where he went 20 for 22, becoming the first quarterback in NFL history to complete at least 90% of his passes on at least 15 attempts. But there's one performance of his that doesn't get talked about, and over time has flown under the radar, because in a 1977 game against the New York Giants, Anderson had what might be the best start in NFL history. It's a performance that I'm not sure we're ever going to see again. This is the story behind Ken Anderson's most underrated moment, and arguably the greatest start of all time. It's November 27, 1977, and the Cincinnati Bengals are taking on the New York Giants on a cold, snowy day at Riverfront Stadium. It's so cold, in fact, that less than 33,000 people showed up, which was the smallest attendance in Bengals history since moving into Riverfront Stadium in 1970. I saw a couple of articles saying how this was the smallest crowd in franchise history, but they were getting under 30,000 every game when they were playing at Nippert Stadium for the first two seasons in 1968 and 69. This game doesn't mean a whole lot to the Giants. While they are mathematically alive at 4-6, and six, in this 14-game season, they've got no room for error whatsoever, and even that might not be enough, as they were three back with five teams ahead of them in the standings. For the Bengals, though, this is a big game. After starting the season 2-4, and four, they've won four of their previous five, and defeated Miami on an absolutely beautiful play late in the fourth. In the AFC Central, the Bengals are 5-5, five five, the Oilers are 5-5, five five, the Steelers are 6-4, and, and the Browns are 6-4. It is an absolute dogfight. Unfortunately, this has not been a great season for Ken Anderson. After making the Pro Bowl in 75 and 76, and leading the league in passing yards and passer rating in 74 and 75, he is struggling this year. In his previous six games, his numbers were rather pedestrian throwing two touchdowns and four interceptions, while averaging just 127 yards per game. In one of those games, a 24-13 loss against the Broncos, he had a passer rating of 38.1, which is worse than what your rating would be if you did nothing but spike the ball into the ground on every single play. But things were about to change in this one against the Giants. After the Giants go 3-0 on their opening drive of the game, since he gets the ball. On their first play, Ken Anderson drops back and throws a 58-yard touchdown pass to Billy Brooks. It's 7-0 Bengals and we're only about two minutes into the game. The Giants are forced to pile their next possession, giving Cincinnati the ball back. Now Anderson doesn't do anything on the next drive as they do nothing but run the ball up the gut every play, but it works out as Cincinnati now leads 14-0. Third drive of the game, and the Bengals are up 14-0. Facing a second and nine, Ken Anderson drops back for his second pass of the day, and this one is a 30-yard touchdown over the middle to Billy Brooks. So far, Anderson is two for two with 88 yards and two touchdowns. It's tough to beat that. Things get crazier for Anderson, though, because with the snow coming down hard, he's not cooling down. On his third throw of the day, he scrambles out of the pocket, throws on the run, and finds Jim Corbett for the first down. This was a sign of things to come, because on the very next play, Anderson finds Corbett once again, hitting him for a 47-yard touchdown pass. In the first half, Ken Anderson threw four passes. On those four passes, he went four for four with 155 yards and three touchdowns. His worst pass of the half was a 20-yard completion that went for a first down. And if you were wondering, yes, this is a perfect passer rating. When you average over 38 yards per pass attempt in an entire half of football, you did something right. Since he led 27-6 at the end of the half and won the game 30-13, Anderson cooled down in the second half, only going 1-7, for seven, and his one completion actually went for a loss of a yard. But he got off to such a hot start that it didn't matter. Cincinnati would win their next two games after that, before losing on the final week of the season to the Houston Oilers to finish at 8-6, just outside of the playoff picture. But for the roughly 32,000 people who braved the elements on this cold November day, they got to witness history. Special thanks to all our Patreon supporters for helping out the channel. Your support is greatly appreciated. See so, you, know, you can become a Patreon and request a future video with topics in the description below.